James Rice Sheffield and welcome to Steelbox TV in association with MF Hire. Tonight's match sees the Bradfield Brewery Sheffield Steelbox take on the Telford Tigers. Let's go to the match action. First period and the Telford Tigers in the black uniforms were to open the scoring at 6.55. Jason Silverthorne with a strike for 1-0. The Steel Logs equalised in the last minute of the period. Liam Charnock with a strike to send the teams in at one apiece. From the opening face-off of the second period, the Steel Logs had a great chance to go in front. Cohen with the breakaway, Bell nearly there with their up round, but just missing out. Telford were to regain the lead soon after. Zabo on hand to put the puck in the net for 2-1. Telford were to extend their lead when the Steel Dogs were under possession. Bit of confusion in the Steel Dogs rear guard. And Macaulay Hayward on hand to make it 3-1 to Telford. Goal number four for the Tigers was scored by Max Berbera just before the half hour mark. The final minute of the second period and the Tigers were to kill the game off. Good work keeping the puck alive in the offensive zone. And Macaulay Hayward gets his second of the night to make it 5-1 to the Tigers. So the Tigers won the game by five goals to one. After the match, we spoke to Cole Tudra, Liam Kirk and to Tom Squires to get their thoughts on the match. So we're joined by Cole Shudra uh, after a loss to uh, Telford. Uh, a tough game tonight, Cole. Uh, out there getting a regular shift. Uh, how was that for you? Uh, pretty good, you know, because Boston and Ash aren't here, so fill in and do what I can. Okay. Is it um, obviously it, it's obviously hard when you're, you're chasing the game, but um, does that kind of mean you have to kind of play differently than you would uh, at other times? Telford are a really good team, you know. Obviously, they won the league last year. They don't give us anything, and we have got to work hard against them. They're top guys putting a shift every night, so we've got to work even harder, and it's sometimes it's hard to do that. Um, tonight you were out with uh, Woody and Craig, so kind of the, yeah, the, the grind line. Um, I guess that's not going to play into your strengths. Is that a, a bit of a challenge for you? Well, I mean, any ice time's good. I mean, i got to play a role. I'm not going to be a top scorer on the team, so i got to you know, play a grind sort of game, and that's what i got to do. Um, and, and tonight, I, I saw you uh, throw yourself down uh, in, in, and block a shot. Um, is, is that something that the old man's been giving you some lessons on? Uh, I think I've just been watching Ben Morgan, really. Just trying to get in the way of everything. But, you know, got to do it. <laughs> OK, thanks for your time, Cole. <laughs> no problem. Bye, thanks. Okay. Um, so we're joined by uh, Liam Kirk uh, after the defeat to, to Telford. So Liam, uh, you had a, a regular shift tonight um, out with uh, with Tom and Lubo. Um, is that a bit of a, a change for you from, from from normal? Oh yeah, it's such a big step up. I mean, playing with like ex KHL and all this, and Tom is a great passer, a good playmaker, and it's just it's a big step up. Just 
do the jobs they tell me to do and just play my game. Um, and uh, obviously it's kind of tough playing a defeat. Um, did you kind of feel that you uh, could contribute tonight? I mean, I do what I do. What I, I do, I just play my game that I've been told to play. And against a team like that, Telford is such a good team, top skilled forwards, always driving the net, and it's just hard to come up and play against. But you just got to do what you've been told and just play your game. Okay. Um, and uh, have you found it's kind of training with the guys and and, and travelling with them? Um, are they are they looking after you? Oh yeah, it's a great bunch of guys. I mean, Woody coming in as a coach takes great care of you. If you Gives you loads of information, all his knowledge on the game is learned. It's just such an incredible experience. Uh, and I guess only being 16, I guess you kind of grew up watching some of these guys playing. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable having I mean, to play with, like, I've watched Squire since I was a kid when he was at Steelers, Stingrays. It's just playing on a line with him is just a dream come true. Okay, uh, and last off, uh, along with Cole, they would be playing for the GB under 18s in, in April over in Romania. Um, how much are you looking forward to that? Oh, it's going to be such a fantastic experience. I mean, playing against top countries, Croatia, Romania, it's just going to be such a good experience to learn from and come back and improve players. Great stuff. Thanks and uh, good, well done tonight. Thank you. Joined by Tom Squires after a 5 1 loss to Telford. Uh, tough one tonight, Tom. Uh, matched them through the, the first period, but um, got, a, got away from it in the, in the second. Um, can you put a, a finger on where it went wrong? I am, I'm not too sure. Um, like you said, in the first period we were really good, um, definitely worth his money. The second period we came out and they got a quick goal start off um, that we could have done with for ourselves, but we didn't react to it, I don't think. Um, we've got to react to them type of situation, it's all well and good talking about it in the change room and whatever, but we've got to start reacting. Um, same happened last week against Basingstoke, when one went in the floodgates open kind of thing, same tonight, three went in pretty quick and we've got to put a stop to it. Whatever it means that we've got to do, we've got to put a stop to it straight away before it starts snowballing, and that's the that's the main thing I think. Are you kind of a do you sort of sense that you well not quite short bench, but certainly short of, of kind of some key players tonight? Did you kind of feel that on the ice? I think you're always going to feel it. You're missing Calvert, Timmy, Boss. Obviously, Boss is a massive loss to any team, especially when you're playing import down against a team like that's got four quality imports. And but at the end of the day, it's not an excuse. We've played against teams previously this season, and we've been short, and they've been short, and. It's what happens. We've we've got to knuckle down. We had Cole and, and Liam jump up tonight. Both did a fantastic job getting getting regular shifts and they changed the dynamic of the team. You you change our line from being a line that likes the possession of the puck and it turns into having Liam go and chase it. Let let him go and pick it up and, and play his game and like I said he played great tonight, so did Cole, but we can't use that as an excuse. That's the main thing. Uh, you mentioned kind of Leonard, so kind of playing in place of uh, Boss tonight. Um, kind of, uh, h- how far do you think he can go with the, the skills you've seen so far? He can go a long way. Um, he just needs to play. That's the main thing. Um, the talent that he's got isn't wasted sat on a bench anywhere. Um, I wish we had him with us tomorrow in Peterborough, um, but we've just found out that that's not happening. He's got to go and play for the under 18 which is a shame because he would have got a regular shift again. Um, and played really well like he has been doing for his last few weeks but again can't be helped um, just one of them things but no he, he's, if he keeps his head on his shoulders like he's got at the minute um, he's, he's really grounded and he's really respectful of everyone and if he stays like that and keeps improving the way he is doing then I don't know what platform he could get to but he could certainly a lot higher than what he is right now OK. Um, and uh, last off, we asked for a, a question for you via Twitter. Um, so uh, Helen Rushby kind of tweeted in on behalf of, of Alex. Um, and Alex wants to know, kind of, what's your, your post-match uh, eating habits? Um, to be honest with you, it's on a night like this. I think it's just gone after 10 o'clock. It's whatever you can get hold of. Um, obviously, try and keep it as healthy as possible. But there's not a lot open on a Saturday night at this kind of time. So um, it's just pretty much getting whatever you can and getting something in your system. So it's, you're ready again for tomorrow. Okay, Steph, thanks a lot, Tom, and uh, good luck tomorrow.